today we're going to be talking about Larry Eiler. Larry Eiler was just a very sick individual. He, his first victim is thought to be a 16 year old. And he would often stab his victims and he would pull their pants down. He would always normally sexually assault them. And then he would dump their bodies. And there was one that survived and ended up I guess just couldn't handle testifying, so he got away. And I'm not saying obviously, I that would be hard to testify against someone who, you know, is hurt you and you're afraid of, but he didn't testify, so he got away with it and he would go back to the same routine. He would find these young men and there was one that was coming back from a funeral and he got him he took him and just like the others he stabbed and he sexually assaulted and he killed him and just recently they identified him. They had his body for a long time, but they just they couldn't identify him. And then, I think it was just last year. So, finally his family knows at least what happened, even though it's very tragic. But, when uh, he was caught, he said that he had an accomplice and he he named one but there wasn't enough evidence but they still think he had either an accomplice or accomplices because he said he did so when he went to prison, they found the young man to testify against him. So he testified and the ones that, you know, there's still probably a lot that's unidentified or they don't know. There could be more that he's killed. I mean, like with all these serial killers, you, you never really know because they get away with it and then they turn sloppy. And that's normally how they get caught is that they just get, they they get away with it for so long. So they're just like, oh, no one's gonna catch me. So they get really sloppy with their crimes and that's same routine with him. But he was caught and he said that he had an accomplice and like I said, the one that they found, that they thought was an accomplice, they, I don't think anything came of that. <clears throat> but when he was in prison, he ended up passing away from AIDS complications. Thank you guys for watching.